I'm willing to bet that everyone in this room has two knees. But not everyone gets to keep them. In fact, there were 700,000 total knee replacement surgeries performed in the United States in 2017 alone. That number is expected to skyrocket to 3 million by 2030. On average, 6% of these require revision surgery. The number one cause of knee revision surgery is mechanical loosening of the implant. A surgeon's ultimate concern is to secure the implant so that it mimics the natural force distribution within the knee. Via wear, tear, and usage, that delicate balance may begin to deteriorate, causing debilitating pain, making a revision surgery unavoidable. Our team has recognized that surgeons need a way to prevent revision surgeries. My name is Ian Hipschman. I'm Isabella Sarawick. And I'm Hashem Salim. And our solution is OrthoInsight. OrthoInsight is the first device of its kind. We've partnered with Johnson & Johnson to integrate a sensor system directly into knee replacements. Our technology package is comprised of four sensors, a microprocessor, and piezoelectric disks, which convert movement into power to charge the system, a system which actively measures the force distribution inside of the knee. Our web and mobile applications provide robust visualizations, empowering surgeons and physical therapists to develop treatments specifically tailored to each patient's knee implant. OrthoInsight acts as the early warning system for knee replacements by detecting the risk for mechanical loosening enabling preventative maintenance rather than extensive and traumatic secondary surgeries. 42,000 patients spent $2 billion last year on knee revision surgeries. With the power of data, we can reduce the cost, recovery time, and hours of frustration associated with knee revision surgery. The healthcare industry is already recognizing our ingenuity. Among 60 university projects at Johnson & Johnson's 2018 Engineering Showcase, we won first place, demonstrating that our product holds true business value and solves real problems for real people. Our $500 technology package adds tremendous value to a product that hasn't changed in over 50 years, enabling Johnson & Johnson to more than double the market price of their $500 knee replacement. If just 1% of total knee replacement patients choose OrthoInsight, Johnson & Johnson will see a revenue potential of $130 million, bringing our 10% cut to $13 million in the first year. We are asking for $1 million to fund for their product development, prototyping, and testing. As we finalize our product, we will begin to position ourselves in the market through Johnson & Johnson's existing relationships with our target customer, surgeons. By leveraging J&J's existing supply chain, we will see a successful product launch in 2022. We our ortho insight, and we look forward to your support in our efforts to reduce costs, minimize complications, and alleviate the pain and frustration of joint replacements. Thank you. We'd like to welcome uh, our other two wonderful teammates to the stage. <laughs> Dawn, I'm going to put you on the spot for the first question. The sensors that go in, is it really more for the benefit of the physicians or the benefit of the uh, patient, um, because the patient after having their knee surgery is going to have to undergo uh, extensive physical therapy uh, as part of their rehabilitation. We believe that there are a variety of target customers that we can address with our product. It's not only surgeons, patients, we're selling to Johnson & Johnson the idea. However, we have chosen surgeons specifically as our target market because surgeons do not want revision rates to be high on their record because then they don't look good. You don't want to go to a surgeon that has to revise the surgeries that they performed previously. For that reason, we believe it will be the most beneficial to surgeons. However, obviously, for a patient who does not want to have a second traumatic surgery, it's better to have a knee implant that has data that will drive the decisions of physical therapists to make specific tailored regimens for exercise that prevent the mechanical loosening that would then require a second surgery. Two knees, two shoulders, two hips, why knees? I actually have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which affects my knees more than anything else. And I've dealt with physical therapy, with arthritis, and with my knees for my entire life. And Johnson & Johnson brought us this project of smart sensors. So combined with the fact that I have this empathy for knee replacement patients, as well as that there are more knee replacements than hip replacements and shoulder replacements combined in the United States, we chose the knee. and. That's why we think that the knee was the best place to do our surgery. Additionally to that, 
we believe that what we are creating here is a framework for shoulder replacements and hip replacements as well. We're starting, as Ian said, with the knee because it's the most prevalent. However, we will be able to expand that. And now, as kind of a college-level startup, we look forward to selling our idea to Johnson & Johnson, who over the course of the last five years has been transitioning from a traditional healthcare company to a healthcare and technology company. And they're acquiring startups just like our own with these novel ideas to put them on that leading edge of healthcare technology. Thank, thank you very, you very much. much.